everyone one year ago i started to update my eternal sailor moon cosplay i added many many led features and it needed many tries to get my desired result no i can show you how you made very easy a led brush led hair accessories and a led necklace my first updated project was the led hair accessories i was asking me how I can reach a long LED working time, but without a big battery. I solved this problem. And I will tell you in the following steps, why do you need these small and strong magnets? Now let's get crafting! For this project you will start with Warpler Crystal Art and a bowl which is heat resistant. Then you put the Warpler Crystal Art in the bowl. It feels so great. Later we will need red nail polish. I got the best results from Manhattan with the number 609. But of course you can also choose any other red nail polish. First of all you have to heat the crystal art and shape it. Note that it's very hot and you have to be careful. If you want to walk without gloves like me it would be a good idea to use water. To get a good form you should shape it like a hot spare. You want a smooth surface. No problem, use a drill ruler. When you're done, take your dribble and hollow it out. Be careful, if you touch Wobbler Crystal Art, it's very hot. So now we have a good shape and can start with the electronic. One red LED can be strong enough for the right parameters. Use a dremel to drill a small hole for the LED. For the next step you will need a resistor. You will also need a cable, sharp scissor, soldering station, solder and helping hands would be also great. We only have a small space to walk, so you should short the LED. Memorize the side of the LED minus pull and LED plus pull. Then you take electric wire, open the ends with a scissor, twist it and connect it to the other end of the resistor with your solder. You should also connect the minus pull with a new electric wire. For more protection of the LED, I use a strong tape. That the circuit can work, you only must connect the magnets to the wire of the solder. It's better if you place solder to the magnets and then connect it to the wire. One magnet must be glued to the orb. You see it works. In the next step we walk the thymol. To protect the orb I use cling film and twist it. It's important that the open end is above the orb like this. At the beginning I made the mistake to remove the cell. Believe me, you get a better result if you don't remove it. To get the perfect shape you must roll the polymer clay. Make it flat, press and roll it to the orb and use your hand to shape it more to the perfect shape. I also use nail polish to get a smooth surface and to remove small particles. When you're done, you should make a small hole with a cutter. Now we only must close the white part, take a small piece of polymer clay, roll it, make it flat and shape it. Carefully remove the polymer clay from the cling film. Now it's baking time. When you're done, you should glue all pieces together with hot glue. Don't forget to pull the wire from your circuit, which is not glued to the orb, through the hole from the white piece. This wire with the magnet should be glued with hot glue to the inside of the cap. If you have small particles, you can use a dremel or sandpaper to clean it, but you should walk very carefully. You see, I also add two hair clips. I 
it looks so great, right? I hope the video was helpful. And if you like it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you don't want to miss my next video, make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.